Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my spread for the week of September 10th through September 16th and I'm finally slowly starting to catch up because today is Sunday the 16th and I can't even remember the last time that I was actually planning on a week that um, was like the current week. So it's been a while since I've been like up to date in my planner kind of. But yeah, I have a super gorgeous kit today. This is from a shop called Oso Paperies and I picked this up a few months ago um, and I've been holding on to it. I felt like these colors were really great for kind of that transition into fall. So I'm going to really quickly go over the sheets that are included in this kit. We've got the nine full boxes here and there's a quote box in the center. We have the date cover, sidebar tracker, and washi strip at the bottom. And then here we have some functional items. We've got two of these like checklists. We have third boxes, tech stickers, some deco, um, a few heart checklists, some other like strips of washi on the side. And this last page here has the flags. We've got a weekend banner, circle icons, uh, functional stickers, a movie marquee, a habit tracker, and then other types of headers. I think these are the only headers actually. Yeah, because they didn't come with other ones, but that's perfect. I really don't need headers in my planning. So that's everything in this kit. I'm going to start as usual by placing down my bottom washi which is this really beautiful mint color I really like this color so I hope it'll turn out really pretty as usual I start by placing down my bottom washi and for this week I decided to layer the two strips that came in the kit so I put the mint color one on the bottom and then the pink one just right on top and they fit really nicely in that space then I move on to my sidebar so I put down the quote box in my top corner that's the one I chose and then I put down all of the date covers uh, for this week the kit did not come with any date dots so I found these gold foil ones in my collection I think they're from simply watercolor co and it's really hard to see on camera since the gold is so light. Then moving back to my sidebar, um, this week I pulled in glitter headers from Mandy Dreams and then um, the habit trackers from the kit. I used a remember header with a checklist for my happy moments and then at the very bottom I put down a this week header with the Monday through Sunday tracker to track my dinners. This is a pretty standard sidebar for me. I usually include all of those items um, as I like to look back and be able to reflect on my happy moments and just kind of remember how often I was working out and what I had for dinner. Then for Monday, I started with a strip of washi at the top. I found these really pretty gold foil bow headers from um, Planning Roses, I believe, and they're so gorgeous, but I don't think I used them really well this week. I tried to layer them on top of the washi strips, and um, when I was reflecting on my spread, I don't think I love how it turned out, so I'll have to think about how I want to use those in the future. Anyways, of course on Monday, I got my coffee as usual. The coffee is from the kit, and then the Coffee Monday script is from paper and milk. I then put down a flag icon and layered the don't forget text sticker on top to remind myself that I had to do something um, related to work that morning. And then um, on Monday, I didn't have any IEP meetings, which is pretty rare. And I just wanted to mark that. So I used the full box and the cheerleading happy girl is from art box stickers. The two pens that I'm using for brush lettering this week are the Tombow Fudenosuke and then the Zebra um, brush lettering pen. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but I always link them down below. Then I put down a glitter header and a half box that I found in my collection. Um, the kit did not come with a lot of functional boxes, so I definitely had to pull out a lot from my leftover stash. Um, the workout sticker is from Tickled Pink Planning, and um, underneath that I put down a grocery um, icon to mark that I had to go get groceries that night. And at the very bottom I put down this little pink label, and that's from Dizzy Daisy Dreams, who is actually opening her shop on, I want to say it's like October 22nd or something like that. Um, a bunch of you guys had tagged me when you saw her Insta story. So I just thought that was so sweet of you guys for thinking of me when she announced her shop reopening. On Tuesday, I started by putting down a glitter header at the top. Then I pulled in one of these pink scallop labels from Panda Bird Designs to mark a morning meeting that I had. We then had a staff meeting, so I put that on a quarter box that came in the kit. And then the IEP sticker is from Lily Grove Designs. At the very bottom, I put down a full box because I knew that's where I wanted it. And on top of the full box, I used another strip of washi with a bow gold foil header. Again, I'm not sure how much I love it. It's really pretty, but I just feel like there's a lot going on and um, it just makes it look a little bit messy, I guess. Um, but anyways, I decided to add a half box underneath the IEP sticker and then I move the bow header up a little bit so that it's in the center of my spread. 
I put down a three hard checklist that I cut up from the kit to mark some things that I did when I got home that evening and one of them was dishes so I found this cute dishes sticker from Kiki Made Designs and um, on Wednesday I first started by putting down a full box at the top because the full box is so dark I can't really write on it so I used a half box on top of that to mark that I pack lunch in the morning the open face sandwich sticker is from Happy Dia Stickers I haven't hauled them yet but I couldn't resist already using them and then I went back to Tuesday I wanted to add more gold foil so I included a um, workout icon from planning world and then I also put a gold foil bow on the cheerleading girl on Monday and that bow is from student planning I switched out the color of the glitter header on Monday and it's really hard to tell on the camera because the color seems really close but I think it was just slightly different. Then I moved back to Wednesday and I used a glitter header and under that I put down a flag sticker with a laptop icon from Sweet Kawaii Design to mark that I edited my plan with me that day and then um, some of these flags like the one I just put down are a little bit too short like as you can see it doesn't span the entire width of the Erin Condren so I did put down a bow sticker sticker from a uh, very cute designs to cover that up and then the makeup icon that I just put down I can't remember where that's from I think it was like part of a sampler and I just found that in my collection next I put down another strip of washi and layered the gold foil bow header on top of that and on the quarter box that I put down I marked that uh, Vanessa from plans with Vanessa and I met up for dinner that night we had been planning this for a few weeks and it was so good to see her um, I also used a gold foil bow from clever gal crafts I used a three heart checklist at the very bottom to mark the place that we went to get dinner and drinks and then ice cream afterwards in that order so um, it was a really fun night everything was so good and tasty and then I used a drink sticker from Hazel sticker to mark that on Thursday I started by putting down a header at the top the three arrow gold foil sticker is from student planning and then Thursday was trash day which I don't normally mark but I think I didn't have a whole lot to mark on this day like it wasn't a very eventful day so I just decided to mark that the trash icon came in the kit then I put down a quarter box with a disgruntled coffee monsters co emoji to mark that there was a really frustrating situation that happened at work and I don't want to go into it but it was just something that um, really kind of upset me and under that I put down another washi strip and layered the bow header on top again I put down that really really pretty full box with the girl I strategically wanted to place her on Thursday just because it's kind of the middle of the week so I wanted her to kind of be the highlight of this spread I filmed and edited when I got home so I used the um, planner sticker that came in the kit to mark working out I put down a flag and then layered over it a shoe sticker and that is from paper and milk at the very bottom I pulled in another one of those little things um, labels from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark our TV show that we watched at the end of the night Moving on to Friday, I started again by putting down a washi strip with the bow um, gold foil header on top. And under that, I pulled in this little third box label that I found in my collection. I think the balloon stickers are from the kit and I just use that box to mark TGIF because I was super excited that it was Friday. Then I used a coffee sticker to mark that I got coffee on that Friday as I usually do. That coffee sticker was from my leftovers collection so I don't remember which shop it came from. I put down a flag with a um, clock sticker from uh, Tickled Pink Planning to mark a morning meeting that we had. And then I used another flag with an asterisk sticker inside of it to mark that I edited my plan with me when I got home. I then checked my happy mail so this really cute envelope sticker is from Hello Petite Paper and I love her doodle style as you guys probably already know it's so cute and that night my boyfriend and I did date night so I decided to mark it with the movie marquee that came in the kit um, we did not go see a movie we just went out to eat but I just felt like that was a cute way to mark that the gold foil heart icon is from Clever Gal Crafts at the bottom I used a label from my leftovers collection and then that beer sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams and I use that to mark that we stopped by Bevmo before we got home because we needed to stock up on our beer stash. Then moving to the weekend, I started by using the weekend banner at the top and I'm sorry if my voice sounds totally different. 
I'm still recovering from a cold, so I just kind of got hit with like a cough attack. But anyways, I used a glitter header with a full box underneath. I then put down a strip of washi with a bow header again. And under that, I used a quarter box with a gold foil heart icon to mark that we got some bread in the morning for breakfast. I put down another one of those headers and what the header said was not applicable to what I guess my list was for. And so I used an important script sticker over that and that's from K Stickers Co. I wrote in the things on my to-do list and then I found this little grocery icon from my collection that kind of matched the color of the kit so that worked out really nicely. At the end of the night, we went and attended a friend's birthday party. It was like a little barbecue at her house, so it actually was super fun. We got to play some beer pong and flip cup and um, just catch up with some girls that I hadn't seen in a while. And I'm so sorry, I don't remember where that little pink banner came from. I think I just found it in my leftovers collection. Um, then on Sunday, I started by using a quarter box and that sleeping mask sticker was one of the deco pieces that came in the kit. We had a really lazy morning just because um, we didn't really have any plans on Sunday, so that was kind of nice. Um, I used a huge laptop icon from Very Jenny Co. to mark that I did a YouTube binge that morning. And then I put down the full box and the camera icon came in the kit. I used my brush lettering pen to mark that I filmed my plan with me. And then I did a little shopping at Michael's and 99 Ranch to get groceries. So the shopping bag sticker is from Plans with Vanessa. I then put down this book flights um, little label from Hello Petite Paper and I use that to mark that we finally booked our tickets to go to Taiwan over Christmas and so that should be really fun. I will get to spend it with my family. Um, I haven't gotten to see my family over Christmas in probably like four or five years now so I'm really excited that I'll get to spend the holidays with them this year. Um, at the bottom I used a craft day sticker. I think that's from Simply Me Kish and then I used that asterisk um, to mark that I FaceTime with my mom a little earlier in the night. I'm done with my spread now, so I'm just moving to my sidebar and uh, filling out all of my happy moments and my dinners. I found this little flag in the kit to cover up the flag of my planner up in the top corner, and I thought that looked really nice. And now I'm just showing you the stickers that I have left in this kit. I definitely used a lot. I'm quite proud of myself. And as I've been doing lately, I'm just gonna add these stickers to my leftover stash and do a giveaway in a couple months for all the stickers that I've been using. So that is all for this week's plan with me. Um, um, I feel like that went by really fast, but that might just be me. Um, anyways, I think it turned out really, really pretty, but a little bit incohesive just because I had to pull in a lot of stickers from my stash. Um, this kit did not come with a lot of like boxes and things like that. So those definitely came from just whatever I had left over. So it's good and bad because I get to use up leftover stickers, but also I always feel like the, the kit always looks a little bit less cohesive when I do that just because the colors aren't the exact like same match. But anyways, it's not a huge deal. I think it still came out really pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If I forgot to mention anything, feel free to ask me down below and I will um, respond as soon as I can. And thank you so much as always for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!